Today's episode has been brought to you by AeroPress at AeroPress.com. Hey, buddy. Welcome home. Hey, man. How's it going? Whoa. Uh, you okay? You look pretty tired. Yeah, I just can't seem to shake this jet lag. Why don't you have some coffee? Here. Just sent you an AeroPress. AeroPress? What's that? AeroPress is like a French press, but it makes a way better cup of coffee. It uses a patented three-in-one brew technology that combines the flavor benefits of espresso, pour-over, and French press into one compact device. Dang, it's got over 55,000 five-star reviews in over 60 countries. Yep, and it brews and cleans in less than two minutes. Wow, that's a great cup of coffee. Thanks, AeroPress. Get some energy. I'm going to need you for the Rollerblade Rooftop Freeze Tag semifinal. Get a better cup of coffee with AeroPress. Click the link in the description or go to aeropress.com slash manshorts. That's A-E-R-O-P-R-E-S-S dot com slash manshorts and use the promo code manshorts to save 20% off your order. That's aeropress.com slash manshorts and be sure to use the code manshorts at checkout to save 20%. Manshorts. Happy April Fool's Day, players. Today you'll be competing in the Fool Festival. Welcome to Silly Town. Doesn't Florida already qualify as Silly Town? As you enter the town square, tell me about your characters. I am Chuckleberry Von Whimsy. He's a furbolg bard with a penchant for dad jokes. My guy's name is Sir Pranks a lot. He's a kobold paladin that likes whoopee cushions and wet willies. Gross. Waylon? Boris Buzzbeard. A dwarven wizard with a swarm of bees is his familiar. Are the bees your... The bees are my beard. The host of the event steps up to a microphone. Welcome to Silly Town. Let's see if you can survive the trial of the fool. Trials, huh? Hope I don't have to call my attorney. We could call and order a fake pizza. Before we begin the first trial, we have a surprise for each of our special guests. Each of you will be getting a fool's token. Um, what's it do? If you run into any of the Giggle Guardians, you can exchange it for your life. Wait, wait, we can die? Oh, yeah. In fact, you probably will. Hello, Pizza House. I'd like to place an order for Michael Fart. The three of you are led in front of a large temple. Roll initiative to see who enters first. 19. 7. 14. Boris, you're up. I'll enter the temple. Beard first. You enter the temple to find yourself in a room full of mirrors. Mirrors? One of the mirrors is a door that leads you into the next room. One of them's a mimic. I thought you might say that. I'm going to command my beard to spread out and find them. Okay, well the bees don't recognize their own reflections, so they swarm into a frenzy and kill each other. (gasps) No! My beard! You buzz too close to the sun. Hold on, would that really happen? Bees are pretty smart. Not according to the stat block. Lance? I guess I'll enter the temple. When you enter, you see a beardless Boris standing in a room full of mirrors and dead bees. Hey, let's pull a prank on the kobold. Wow, what's with the bees? <laughs> Talk about a buzzkill, right? One of these mirrors is a mimic. In that case, I will upcast Shatter and we'll see what happens. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Roll your damage and a con save. You'll need to roll one too. Well, I failed my con save, so that will cost us 32 damage. Speak for yourself, Von Whimsy. I took half that. Justin? What if I just didn't go in? What, what do you mean? I mean, what if I just stayed out here in Silly Town and just did some pranks? Well, earlier I heard you place a pizza order for a Michael Fart. Yeah, I'd like to go shake the host's hand and hit him with the old hand buzzer. That sounds delightfully unhinged. As you reach your hand out and introduce yourself, the host says, Salazar Samuelson! Give me a sleight of hand check. Eight? Salazar doesn't find your joke very funny, and he's the mayor, so. So? So you're under arrest. What? On what charges? For violating the rules of fun. They're taking you to Stink Bomb Prison. Stink Bomb Prison? Chuckleberry. Buzzbeard. Help. Can I hear that? You could give me a perception check, but considering you just upcast Shatter, you're going to need to do it with disadvantage. Eww. Sorry, sir, pranks a lot. Back in the room full of broken glass, the two of you see a green light shining from behind one of the mirrors. Shouldn't sir, pranks a lot be in here by now? Oh yeah, I guess so. Um, I'll go through the door. I'll follow him. But if I don't see that kobold soon, I'm leaving. The two of you enter the green room. Give me deck saves. 16. 
20. As you enter the room, two giggle guardians appear from behind a hidden panel, but thankfully each of you has a fool's token, so you're safe. For now. How do we get out of here? Well, you're in the riddle room. You'll need to answer the riddle written on the wall to get to the last trial. What does it say? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I come alive with wind. What am I? Justin, back in Stink Bomb Prison, you've been placed in a cell with a gnome named Egbert Ballyhoo. What you in for? Shook Salazar's hand with a hand buzzer. The gnome shakes his head. I put x lax in his cotton candy. I don't get it. I thought this was silly town. It just hasn't been the same since that Salazar Samuelson took over. He can dish it, but he can't take it. What do you mean? He hates when the joke's on him. I mean, that's why we're all here. He points around to all the other cells, all filled with colorful characters who have been arrested for similar crimes. What if we broke out? Give me a charisma check. 21. Ballyhoo nods and pulls a notepad and pen from his shirt pocket. I've been putting something together. Boris? Whimsy? An echo. Of course! Th that's what it is! Your correct answer causes another hidden door to open. The kobold is still not here. Pranks a lot? He's probably playing around in the mirror room. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go check on him. I'd like to go back to the uh, mirror room. Ooh, sorry, pal. That entrance is closed. You can only go forward now. Let's go. Justin, as you and Egbert discuss the escape plan, you hear a door latch open in a nearby empty cell. Do they arrest somebody else? After a moment, you see your friends Boris Buzzbeard and Chuckleberry Von Whimsy. What are they doing here? As soon as they step inside, the door behind them slams and locks. What? what? Don't worry, guys. Egbert and I have a plan. A plan that will sadly never come to fruition, because Salazar has you all executed before you can put that plan into motion. What a waste of time. What the heck was that? What do you mean? We went through all that effort for the story to go absolutely nowhere. April Fools. Oh, are we rolling? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, come on, guys. My character... Uh, My guy's name is Sir Pranksalot. He's a kobold paladin. Boris Buzzbeard. Uh, what? Dwarven wizard. Yeah. He's a kobold paladin that likes whoopee cushions and wet willies. My guy's name is... Well, I should... Whimsy. <sighs> happy ape. Why am I saying happy? I don't know, man. <laughs> happy ape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's what it is. Don't spit when I do it. By the way, I'm sorry for this, everyone. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a real weird <laughs> My beard. <laughs> Top tier humor, really. You want to... <laughs> Not the bee. Because there's certain lines in here where I'm like, <laughs> good one. And then I look over it later and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> People have been looking for someone to replace Monty Python <laughs> for like decades now, I think. We've finally arrived. Do I just look shocked because it just says fourth wall? Or am I supposed to say what there? Uh... <laughs> oh boy. So have you seen that human airbag thing? <laughs> it's a vest. And it's supposed to, like, deploy if you fall over. <laughs> well, that's not going to count. What are, I mean, <clears throat> did that sound okay? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, dude, why is there not a place called Salazar Salad Bar? We should make it. Yeah, dude, let's do it. Salazar Salsa and Salad Bar. Stink Bomb Prison? What are their names? Stink Bomb Prison? Chuckleberry. Chuckleberry Buzzbeard. Mm -hmm. You're making sangria like that one lady that makes <laughs> drink videos where it's just a bottle of vodka. <laughs> why does it say upcast? Because uh, I think you're casting it a level higher. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll play with these dice. I'm cracking. What are you doing over there? Doing a puzzle. <laughs> with two pieces? Mm -hmm. Did you figure it out? <laughs> yes. My beard! <laughs> Be <laughs> it's hard to really, like, sell that. <laughs> In that case, I will upcast Shadow. I shouldn't look at the script when I said it. I shook. It's just thinking. No, it's how we get out of here. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. Speak with, oh, neither of those are colored either. What the hell's going on? Why are none of these? D&D, no, no, no. every day. D&D, every day. D&D, every day. D&D, every day. Stat blocks, every day. Drop rocks, every day. D&D, every day. 
Every day, they call me the DM. I bring the pain from AM to PM. I am the bane, consider and changing the name of my BBE GBC to you. They can't even see him. Two DPKs per DM. End up in a PC museum. If you don't follow my Coliseum, I'm murking you all in my mausoleum. This is a murderous game. Imagination be putting to me, turn to the shame. It's the return of the flame, and it's still burning the same. Better be learning my name. It's that Y A H Z I C K that spells tongue. Low vibration, high strung. Looking at the top of the ladder from the bottom rung, unsung. D and D every day. 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 Stat blocks every day. Drop rocks every day. D and D every day. Every day. 